Hey developers, this is Praveen again and in this video we're gonna see about a DQ data structure which is also called as a double ended queue like a double ended queue okay it's based on queue so if you are not aware of my queue video it's I posted it and yesterday I think so you can click the above link to go there and watch it and come back here to the to this DQ video so let's get started with the implementation and before that I gonna explain what is DQ and why it differs from in what way it differs from Q so DQ is a abbreviation form of a double ended Q which means uh, you can the name itself explains that it, uh, it is double ended like um, we can do both operation which is insertion and deletion in both the ends of the queue so you see you may aware of that like uh, in queue we add element from the uh, the last of the queue and uh, we remove element from the front of the queue right but in double ended queue we do both insertion and deletion in both ends as well so let's get started with the implementation this is the basic idea our basic difference between Q and DQ so let's get started with the implementation so you can see the um, comments here so first DQ class that we have to create it and these are the methods in the DQ class okay uh, likewise I said like add friend add lost and remove friend remove lost and len and still method okay so we can add two more methods like a uh, friend and sorry about that friend and lost so we can call it as rear so we created this method in q video uh, it means picking picking the first element from the q which is called uh, without removing it we can see the first element through this and this method returns the last element of the q without removing it so the, it's the use of the, these two classes sorry these two methods so let's get started with the implementation so i just typed these so i made a init class uh, as we do in all uh, all the structures uh, while creating a class so and then this is dq and we are maintaining uh, we are having the base structure with this which is a python list and let me say it again for data structures like stack queue and this dq uh, we need a base data structure to build up like uh, we we may use array or linked list or like a python list we can use whatever it is so i have python class in it i mean python list in it so let's create it let's create the add friend method here so so add friend requires a data parameter uh, we have to pause an argument data to add the element so as this is a, a, a python list we can insert an element to the front of the list by using the insert method in the python list and we have to insert the data we are getting from the user so and we have to increment the size by one because we are adding as you see here we are maintaining the size to produce a length in constant time that means length in constant time and we can fill this add loss method here so add loss method also requires data parameter so we are adding to the last of the queue uh, which we can uh, which means we can use the append method in the list so and then we have to increment the size by one so let me increment it by one and let's see the remove friend method so it requires no any parameter inside uh, we don't any uh, we don't pass any arguments while using it because we are just removing at the front of the queue so how to remove it like uh, we can use the pop method and remove at front like pop of zero will remove the zero is the index of the first element that all, all the programmers know and we can we, we also decrement the size by one because we are removing right so let me decrement it 
and we can use the i mean we can implement the remove last method here so remove last that uses self and it also don't require any parameter inside like uh, we have we don't have to pass any arguments inside so self dot dq so it's easy like uh, we have to give the pop method only it will basically remove the lost element from the queue and we have to decrement the size by one here two at minus one and we have the friend method which picks an element from the front of the queue which can also say like means it also don't require any uh, argument doesn't require any argument and we can produce it by dq dot no without removing it so we have to give just index of zero okay it will produce the result so we have to return it okay in the queue video uh i just not returning that uh it's a mistake uh, we have to return the return the element to the user so that uh, it will be useful okay we have don't have to care about the size here in this method we, because we are not removing any element from the print or incrementing an element i mean uh, adding an element so we are just picking it so just seeing it from the front and the rear method it also requires self and we have to return an element from the last of the queue like uh, the lost element which means we can use the negative indexing minus one it's in python and we don't care about size here too and we can produce the len method which is dunder len method if you see my videos uh my old videos you can know that what dunder len method means that why we are using this dunder len method it's a magic method uh if you no are not aware of that see my old videos like uh in data structure like the stack or linked list videos that you may see in my data structure playlist and we have to return the length so we have the size so let me do that yeah self dot size will we don't need any parenthesis because it's just an attribute as you can see above and we have we want to implement the string representation of the function like a dunder string method which is also i explained in my older videos you can see that by clicking the above link so we we, we need to check uh, if the uh, queue is uh, empty or not so let me check that so if the queue is empty uh, uh, i'm checking it by comparing to the size if the size is equal to zero then we have to return something like a, a dq is empty or queue is empty like that to the user and if that's not the case we have to return the return all the elements by uh, separating it by an arrow so let me create a result like a variable to maintain the string uh, initially it, it is an, an empty string and we have a for loop for that to iterate through the queue for i in range self dot size because we have the size right and we are using that so we have to concatenate to the result like uh, adding up the elements so stir of self dot dq of index like i i is the index right we are iterating through the uh, we are producing the we are generating the numbers the that means the index of the elements inside the queue and we are using it here to and we are uh, we also cast it as to uh, as a string because uh, then only we can append it or concatenate it to the result because it's a string right so we have to produce the string in the dunder string method uh, 
and we have another string right like an arrow which is a left arrow and after that we are just returning the result here so result yeah this is it so let me create some examples and let me run it um, so we can check whether it's working or not let me check the code again yeah it's perfect i guess so let me create some examples like uh, let me create a line variable just a line don't care about the uh, variable name so i just created a line variable and uh, we have to instantiate the queue object like a dq object uh, wait a minute uh, we need to give the capital d let me check that again so check in front yeah we have to give the capital letter here it must start with the uppercase letter yeah so uppercase d and yeah we just created a line object which is a dq object yeah named line and line dot add friend let's check the add friend method like adding a fortify to it and let me create some more methods so i implemented four methods and uh, let me use uh, remove methods before that we can use the print method to print it and see uh, whether it's adder or not and we can now implement the remove methods like a uh, remove lost and remove print like that yeah it requires no arguments so we don't have to pass and remove print it will remove the print element and let me print it again and then let me print the length again so so that length method is working or not uh, we may know that so then method then i am just removing one more element using remove print and finally i am printing that printing the line we have to use print and line so it will work i guess so let me run it yeah it worked perfectly like uh, first we are adding adding print the fortify to it so first uh, the fortify will be added and then we are adding lost element like 56 after 45 so initially the two elements for first two lines and we are adding lost the 98 so it's added lost like here and we are adding friend 9 so it's added in friend so four elements have been added so let me use here to the print so that we can know what's happening after two lines because uh, it starts with 9 you know you may get confused yeah it's worked first uh, 45 and 56 add friend and add lost and we are again add lost the 98 to it and add friend the 9 to it and we are removing the 9 from it like a remove lost so we are removing the first uh, 98 from it and we are removing 9 from it and printing the length of the line so now the length of the queue will be 2 so it's printed and we are finally removing the friend method like uh, removing the friend element which is fortifier we have removed it so it, it's working perfectly so this exact code you see in the in this environment you you can get it from my github page so i link through in uh, description so you, you can check it out and thanks for watching if you are new to this channel please uh, subscribe and uh, give it a thumbs up if you like this video and please share yeah thank you thanks for watching bye from praveen